Hey everybody. Hi. I'm Tim. Jerry. This is Tim and Jerry from Vinny's Vault. And this is our video, YouTube video from Vintage and Vino. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> do you have your wine? Cause we need it today. We do. This, I have a nice Pinot Grigio, barefoot Pinot Grigio, very light. This has been a rough day. It's been a rough day. I'll probably drink all of this during our video tonight. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What do you have there? This is a, this is a, a 14 hands red blend. The red it's blend called, is called it's Run called Wild. It's called Run Wild. And it's a smooth red blend. It's mm -hmm. good. I like very, it. Very, very good. So grab your glass of wine. We have our vino. Let's do, let's get around to our vintage. Here we go. Let's right, get started right in. Just jump right in. We got a let's lot of stuff today. Jump right in and we'll tell you later why it was a rough day. This is a, this is kind of a, PG rated little vintage thing here because you know look at it, it's our little butt showing but isn't that sweet cutest little thing yeah I just had to have that I just think that that belongs in a nursery or for some new mom or something like that it's just the sweetest little thing uh, no more. markings I mean I think it's American bisque it has that bisque feel to it doesn't it yeah, that kind of bisque a... feel it's not marked, but, um, you know, it's a little figurine. Just sleeping little baby. It's sweet. And, and this part's so cute. Look at that part right there. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is cute. So, so she's, she's sweet in her little yellow pajamas. Nice piece for a, a new mom. And, and more cat people kitties, stuff. Kitties. Kitty this cats. Is, this is red wear. This is redware, it's mm -hmm. called, I guess. That's red clay. Red clay, you can see the bottom of it, how it's red clay, mm -hmm. and you know. But it's a really, really, really well-defined and, and painted well, and it's really nice, you know. Mm -hmm. little, little white kitty. cat, kitty cat, sitting down. Once again, not marked. No it's marking. It's a little age and uh, and it's great for the people that love to have little cats yeah. sitting around the house. We decided that why not just buy stuff that we like? Maybe not necessarily be. Uh, it may not be extremely. What some of the what some of the the name brands? It may not be a name brand. It may not like be Hager. Hager. It may not be Royal Copley. It may not be. Yeah. A lot of times it is, and then we go like cha ching. But but yeah, I mean, if it's cute, yeah. we she if and she likes it, I like it. I mean, if you like it. We're good yeah, with it. We're going to get it. Here's another unmarked item, but boy, this is absolutely beautiful. It is really pretty. A little candy dish. Yeah. Um, it is really pretty. I love stem. this color. This is flashed. Um, it is losing a little tiny bit of paint on the foot. It is very, very minor considering the age of this. Oh, yeah. um, but with it being flashed like that and the age to have that much going on and not have not be Look at the not have lost this. paint it's it's, kind it's of pretty spectacular it is kind of christmasy i it would be gorgeous it's at like christmas a, it's like a a cran a little cranberry thing with some and, little and leaves green. on it and green and yeah. red green and red yeah green dish be perfect for a little candy dish at uh, christmas time mm -hmm. i found or this at, time, really. uh, i got this at my little hidey hole that i like and uh, what's my little hidey spot that hiding. I don't want to tell anybody where it honey is. Hole. Honey hole. Honey hole. Yeah. Anyway, oh, um, I paid eight minus my 25% for being a senior. And I think yeah. that was well worth it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. What do you what got there? This? This well, is, uh, this is marked right, yeah, right here. There. And I don't remember what it stands for. M uh, M S. M M S. And it's a company that made all these. It's really kind of. I can't of remember the name of it. Different. I like it because it's a nice female. Look, it's... Don't you think this is a female? Oh yeah. Yeah. And so many of them are males. And I actually have a male one on in the store. But and I kind of considered taking it down <laughs> and putting the two of them together. Got a big old mole on her cheek right there. 
Boy, they're boy, called boy. ugly mugs. Can you ugly? Can I can tell why. why. Yeah. I can tell why. Very seventies. Yeah. It was very seventies yeah. thing, and I don't think anybody ever drank out of them. But I remember yeah. people in the office would use them for their pens and pencils. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be pretty uh -huh. cool. Yeah. yeah. So, but it is marked, like like she said, it has a. Let me see if I can find it here real quick and put it up the camera. MMS or MMB, something like that. Something Studios. MM Studios. Oh. Anyway. And it's marked and it's cool and it's 70s. and Yeah. The, the big it'd red be fun. lipstick. It's still lips fun. And the yeah. hair. And it's got to be it's a woman. It's still fun to put on your desk if you go to work anymore. Most people don't. But, you know, it's fun. This is a 10. A tin, a, a what? Tin? A tin, a, a what? Tin. All, All right. right. All right. <laughs> it's a, uh, what is it, Maxima? Yeah, Maxims. Oh, Maxims de Paris. Mm -hmm. It's from France. From El Francais. El Francais. El Francais? No, Maxim I think L is Spanish. Spanish, yeah, yeah. Well, oui, oui, oui. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Quit pushing the table. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is nice. It's, it's cute. cute. It's got the little tent. dancers on it. It's got yeah. I think it's a restaurant. Maxims is a Maxim's restaurant. Maxims is a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got something on the bottom mm -hmm. of it too. Assortment of. It was a candy. Too. Bonbons. Mm -hmm. Bonbons. So if you want to sit around and eat your bonbons, and you, you can have see a that your bonbons would expire by oh one, <laughs> so it's vintage. <laughs> very, very vintage. And it's fun. It's very fun. Yeah. I liked it, mostly because it's the Sunshine Biscuit Company. And I like this one because it is, it's excellent condition. It's like nobody nice. ever touched it. There's no scratches. I mean, it's beautiful. And it has two different- a um, different scene on the other side. Scenery on each side. Um, it's, ju it's just really fun. If you open the lid, you can see where it's marked for the Sunshine. For the sunshine, noisy biscuit. It's a biscuit, biscuit tin. Which for us, biscuits is not exactly what biscuits are here. This is this is for cookies. This is the sunshine biscuit incorporated. This particular, I guess that this means this side. Yeah, it's the the Petite Cafe by Maurice Utrio, 1883 to 1955. You see that on the back? That's for the lid. Mm -hmm. And then we have the same thing on this side. It says snow, snow on Montmartre or Montmartre. Also by Maurice, whatever his name is. Sunshine. A trio. A trio. Sunshine biscuits. Sunshine Incorporated. biscuits. Yeah. So they kept they they sold biscuits in these. Well, not biscuits like you think of biscuits. Oh, cookies. Oh, cookies, in like as in Europe. English, English biscuits. Yes, English, yes. Oh, okay, English okay. Because yeah, it's from France. It's no, French biscuits. French biscuits. French biscuits. Would that be croissants? They bis biscuits. Would that be croissants? <laughs> Maybe they'd be biscuits. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> it big. was pretty, and you know what? Look how gorgeous that would look on our table. Oh, that would be it's, beautiful. Yeah. It's round, right? Let me keep this. Just saying. Do we want to show it? <laughs> I think we can show it. I don't know, but it's it's big enough. I have always said everything's for sale except my wife and my kids. So it's you know. it's big enough to fit on a nice round table and look so pretty with a centerpiece. I'm not selling this. This I'm keeping. <laughs> I'm keeping this. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I love it. Well, this has a little spoon. Yes, and and it just I know. Isn't that fantastic? Oops. Wow, so what is this? That's, I mean, that's the sugar. This is a Fitz and Floyd sugar and creamer bowl. They are, they are. They're pretty, aren't they? Awesome. Mm -hmm. it, they're kind of springy. I'm trying to get spring and Valentine and yeah. Easter. Yeah. You know, that's this what we want to go for. The sugar bowl and it has a spoon. This is the spoon. Still has the spoon. Yeah. I'll take it out here and see. That looks spoon. really neat. Yeah. yeah. Kind of cool. Uh -huh. And uh, got a flower on both sides, a little bow. Got a little, a little bow there. Yeah, a yeah. bow. For the handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That gets closer to that. 
Fitz and Floyd. I like Fitz and Floyd. I, I pretty little... much always pick up Fitz and Floyd unless it's really badly chipped. It's got a little bumblebee or on the really side. Or really ugly. Butterfly on but the Fitz other and side. But Fitz and Floyd usually isn't. Yeah. And that's the sugar bowl. Yeah. With the spoon. And here is the creamer. Yeah. Go together, obviously, mm -hmm. as a set. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. This one was made in Sri Lanka. Fitz and Floyd, Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. This is the tiniest, tiniest little Pyrex bowl I think I've ever seen mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. It's a number 710 ounce, oh, it's number 31. So look how small that is. We have no lid for it, but I don't know, they make a lid. Oh, it might a souffle. It might no, be I don't a think it came with a lid. Dish. Because of Jello, would it be a butter dish? You could put butter in that. <laughs> but it has no lid, but it has no lid. Well, that's true. And I don't think it came with a lid because I did not see one with a lid anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. What would you do with it? I uh, don't know. Maybe you get a whole bunch of them. Maybe. And you somebody... make a lot of little pot pies. <laughs> yeah, that'd or be a little, that'd be a little. Or pies, some kind of. Maybe something. somebody could tell us what it is yeah. or what it's yeah. used for. Email us. It's little. Email it's us. At... This basket is awesome. It's actually got a little weight to it because. Mm -hmm. This handle and this rim around the basket is metal. Yeah, what kind of metal? It's like it feels like it's got to be steel. I mean, it, yeah. I don't think it's I don't think Not it's like, like cast, iron. cast iron or brass. But it kind of looks like and that. feels like cast iron. Yeah. Well, it's got some weight and it's black. It does have some weight. But anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. nice. It's very well made. Good condition. It's tight. The the basket is woven very tight. Mm -hmm. It's weird because it this looks like straw. It has it of... has held on. The metal part is held on with copper wire. Yeah, I'm not sure that's you know authentic, but oh, really, yeah. don't say that. Well, I don't know. It looks nice. It 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 fits just perfect. So I think it was made for it, but I don't know. It's really cool. Really, really cool. I don't know. It's got pineapples on both sides of it, so you can put fruit in it. You know, make it a fruit basket. Yeah. Or you could paint it pink and make an Easter basket. Oh, God. Why would you do that? Purple? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at this. This mm -hmm. is a, I don't know what kind of bird that is. Looks like they tried to it make it like look like a duck. It looks like a duck with a really long it's... tail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but really it's not a really long tail. I think this is a letter opener, actually. I saw some people... Um, very fresh. When I reviewed it, I, when I reviewed it, they were advertising it as letter opener or knife. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah that, would, that would not hurt anybody. Hold up. Wait a minute. No. No. It's not sharp. It would well, make a could. really, if it were a file, like, it would make a great fingernail you file. Could, you could sharpen that thing down pretty easy, you know, yeah. make a nice little, you know, prison sheave out of it. <laughs> it's kind of neat, though. It was fun. I, yeah. I was surprised to find so many online. I thought I'd picked up something kind of original and cool. No? No. no? There's others. What you left on it? Well, I know. I don't want to give away your honey I left a tag on it. This one yeah, too. when I was doing the shipping video, I think people saw those. So, I mean the shopping. So, I think they probably already know that. Oh, all right. Where, well. my, where my honey hole is. There. Tag's gone. I'll do that. Talk about okay, it. Talk okay, okay. I'll do that. Yeah. This one, another bird. I don't know exactly what this one is. It's pottery, though, isn't it? It's Mexico. It's, yeah, it's Mexican. Oh, it's yeah, Mexico. Mexican it says Tenala. Mexico right on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's painted nice. He doesn't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't mean, know what kind of bird it's, it's it is. A, it's a quail. No. no, it doesn't have a little thing, a little yeah, top no, notch. It's not a quail. It's a very long. It's not a road bird. runner. It might be. Maybe a, it's a it phoenix. A, no, it might be a road runner. That's not a roadrunner. Yeah, uh, I guess it could be. Doesn't a have any legs down here, but it could be a roadrunner. It's kind of got that well, shape. Well, that's okay. We sold the turtle. Didn't have any legs. Oh, yeah, that's true. They were pulled in. Yeah. His, only his head was out. So. But it's it's painted. That. It's painted really nicely. Yeah. Look at this atomic, 1950s tea set. I know. We have the whole set. See There's the little, uh, little atomic. Well, we're missing the sugar. Missing the sugar. Bowl, missing the sugar. But, uh, but it's still, it, it's incredible. It's really neat. And this was sitting on the end cap Crazy. in a basket, um, all taped up in a little basket. 
and I couldn't tell what was in it, but I knew that pattern was fantastic and we had to have it. I just had to have it. Midwinter modern. Yeah, midwinter modern. It's very mid-century. It's got the uh, mid-century modern. It's got the little atomic stars on it. I love it. Every once in a while I get very excited about something. This is one. This is one of the ones. Yeah, There's the teapot. Cool. Yeah. See the stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like somebody had too much wine when they were drawing these lines. <laughs> Wasn't me. Four cups and four saucers. This is the little uh, There's your creamer. creamer. No sugar. No sugar bowl though. But Darn it. this is not, sometimes when I'm missing a piece, I'll look for it and I'll go, well, if I buy this, how much will, if I get the other piece that's missing, how much will it grow the, the profit? And this thing is so rare that just trying to get a sugar bowl for it would be difficult. Plus, it would be very expensive. So, no sugar bubble on this. Yeah. And we have four of these. There's four cups, cups and saucers. Sauce. Look how tiny that cup is. Gotta have your tea, your, it, your pinky out. Is, you gotta yes. have your pinky out when you drink this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, here they are. Here's the rest of them. Yeah. And there's another one. Some, like more, said, some more saucers. We got four. Four. There's four saucers, four cups, a creamer, and a teapot. And a teapot. Oh, let's talk about this. Here's a, this is a Dayerton. Dayerton. D-A-H-E-R. Very collectible. Made in England. It's got, it's blue. It's very small. I usually have bigger ones than this. But I always pick them up. Well, I shouldn't say always. If I like the pattern and it's Dayer and it's good condition, I'll pick them up. Um, this one has, it has a real Holland look to it. Very you know, with the windmills, very blue and white. It's kind of cool. I mean, you could keep, you could keep some spices in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of small for coffee, unless you're not much of a coffee drinker. But um, anyway, I really liked it. And, you know, so I picked it up. There you go. I liked this. This was, this was good. Because Corningware. People are starting to buy it more and more, y'all. So we don't pass up the Corningware. Um, at first, I was like, oh, that is not going to be collectible. And I don't know if it's collectible or whether people just realize how wonderful it is. And so they need it because you can't buy anything this wonderful. I mean, it goes from the freezer to the oven. It goes back to the freezer. Does it, does it do that just like Pyrex? Yeah, yeah. Corningware is... Yeah. I know if you set it on top of your stovetop, it will shatter in a Yeah, heartbeat. don't don't set don't it on do the that. burner. Don't don't, don't do set that. it on the burner because yeah, I did that once. Um, but this is a seven by twelve or thirteen. Twelve by seven and a half by two. Twelve, twelve by seven. Okay, it's seven and a half. Twelve by seven and a half by two, right there. All right, there it is. Two quart. Yeah. If you want Great to for brownies, really, because the uh, the 13 by 9 is too big and you get little skinny brownies and the 9 by 9 get fat brownies, but you only get nine of them. So this is perfect for brownies. Yeah. 12 by 7, you probably mm -hmm. get... You get some fat brownies, but you get more, get about you get more than 16, nine. Uh, 12 yeah, or 18. And they'd be bigger. Yeah. Oh, we got to try that. Yeah. Okay, I'm not keeping this, though. You can wash it. Not keeping it. I already wash washed it. it. No, I mean, no. after we cook brownies in it, you can wash oh, it. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. <laughs> well, you... Oh, it's got stuff on there. Oh, it's the, where the tag was. I'm going to have to fire our washer. All right. All right. Fire me. Um, yeah, it's a silver plate, I would bet. I think it's aluminum. Aluminum? Yeah, I don't even think it's silver plate, which is better, honestly. How many of you drop your butter dish? I don't think that's aluminum. That's all the time. <sighs> Uh, it doesn't have any stainless. mark. Might be stainless. I bet you stainless. It's stainless. Might be stainless. Which is even perfect because you can put it in the dishwasher. You don't have to, don't have to, uh, you know, polish it. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's good. It's 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 perfect because to me, a glass butter dish is no bueno. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> no bueno. No bueno. <laughs> it's no good. No good. <laughs> no good. Yeah. And it's totally no so brain. even if you drop it, it won't break. It won't break, it won't but break. it might bend. 
You might get it, dense. It here. might. It might. Uh, now we got. Now this is a kind little of, bit of an odd collection here. You this take is, a this is a Jerry collection stuff. right here. This, this is, is a, a, all right. Let's we'll start with this one. I think because is it this one? You can try to sell these as a set. I am. Are you? I am. I know. This is a me thing. This one. I which one did I start with? I think it was this one. I saw this one. It's kind of three dimensional. See the little owls, and I just liked it because it's three dimensional and it's an owl, and it says made in Japan. I'm don't know. Made in Japan obviously is vintage, might be Odagiri, but it's not marked Odagiri. This one, however, this one, however, is marked Odagiri. Yeah, and see, it's, and it's got owls, owls, and they're both kind of gray. Good one. Oh, oh, they're both kind of gray. So. I just thought, you know, it's kind of fun not to have matchy matchy, but kind of had same kind of same. Kind of kind of same. Kind of same. Yeah. Let's have all owl mugs, but not all the same and another owl one. mugs. Owl mug. Yeah. This one I don't think it's marked. No, there's no marking yeah, on no this. No marker. One. But it, it's an owl. So I like it. And I'm gonna sell all four of these together because they're owls and they're cute. Uh, and here's the other one. Also not marked. It's a little more blue than gray, but I like the little, um, the color, the colorfulness in the leaves. And so I went with, I went with this as my fourth owl uh, cup. And I, I just, I like it. I like it. No matchy matchy. No matchy matchy. Okay. How do they say that very eclectic set? Yeah, yeah. That's Nothing good. matches. Yeah. It looks like a giant pipe that somebody's mm. really, you know. It's supposed to look like a horn. Oh, a horn? That's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess it does. It's got a marking on the bottom of it. Yeah, it's made in Norway. Norway? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says Norway. And it right says there. the name of it's like something funky. Figgy, Figgy Row or what is it? Beer Go? I don't know. I couldn't read It's it. hard to read. But they're very, they're, they're worth some money. Who knew? I picked it up. I went, well, it's unusual. And so I thought it was that cartoon character. Yeah, but I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is either. But that's why I picked it up. Because it was an old cartoon character. And I thought, okay, this might be this, this old cartoon character. But it wasn't. But it turned out it was kind of collectible. So... Well, it's fun. It'll probably go on eBay because I don't think it, I don't think it's old enough for Etsy, but uh, that's okay. It's fun. It's got a number on there: twenty-one forty-one. Yeah. Figgy Figo, mm -hmm. F I G G O. It looks like Norway. Mhm. Mm mhm. Interesting. Yeah. Here's a nice. Uh, looks to be solid brass. I like this. If I was to say it's made in India. But a little plate holder, I think mm -hmm, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or nice. art holder. You or can put a little art, piece of yeah. art on a it. Picture painting or something mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. That's kind of nice. It's a very, it's very elegant. We and picked elaborate. this one up. Where did you pick this one up? I don't know. Oh, Savers. Savers. Oh, Savers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Pick up a lot of stuff at Savers. Well, yeah, I do. Because, you know, half off on Mondays. And Savers does. I know. That's good by us, that's for sure. Cause they're the smaller size. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if that Isn't this makes like it. the regular size? No, these no, are smaller. Really? The regular size ones are like two inch. These are like one inch. I think these are more desirable, more collectible. But these are like one inch, maybe one and an eighth. Uh, but they're smaller than the standard two inch blocks. Well, you can take it out of the package if you want. That might be easier no, to see. No, I don't see. that's too much trouble. Really? Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't have a knife. If I have anyway, a knife. people like to um, decorate their nursery up with these. What letters do we have? Do you know? Uh, there's an F and an H and an E the and a Q? B. Oh, oh there's well, lots there's of different letters. Yeah, different letters on each side. And numbers. And some pictures. One, five, three, some pictures. No. Q, B, F. So you might be able to spell something. Yeah, you might be able to. I don't know. I know that that lots of young moms like to decorate their nursery with this kind of thing. And for 50 a w? cents. A w? Why not? Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. And they're in pretty good condition. I once, from the same place, I once got some, a whole, like, 26 uh, blocks that were from the 1800s. They were old. They had oh, pictures I of... I remember those, yeah. They had pictures of a steam engine and a mm -hmm. cannon and some really cool stuff. I, I really like these glasses. We sold some not too long ago. They were bigger, the ones we sold. They were a little bit they bigger, and they had do bird like bird dogs on them. And these have... Oh, we've sold these with the birds before, too. Have we? Yeah. These have, you know, there's some grouse, there's some ringneck pheasants on here. These are really cool. They got a nice gold rim on the top of them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're in perfect condition, absolutely perfect condition. I don't know who makes these. Um, There's nothing maybe on the bottom Libby, either. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who makes them. I want to say Libby, but I only want to say that because they made a lot of glasses back then. Yeah. But I think these might have been made in Canada. Let's see. Maybe Canada. Yeah. And there's another grouse. And this one is a uh, Canadian goose. Goose. You knew that was coming, didn't you? And then the last one we have is a canvas back duck. Tim's a hunter. He likes I do these. love to duck hunt. Every time I come home with something hunting, yeah. he wants to keep it. I want to keep it. <laughs> this it's overcrowded. This is kind of cute, kind of kind of different. It's a corn cob pitcher, mm -hmm. tea pitcher, teapot. Yeah. I thought it was Shawnee, but it's not Shawnee. It's not Shawnee. No, it's somebody else, and I can't remember. Is it Navajo? Is. I really need my iPad to remind me who these yeah. people are. But a no, lot of crazy old. inside. I mean, it's crazy. It's old. Like crazy it is inside. very old. Yeah, and it. I'm just going to be straightforward with it. You can't really see it on the outside, so I don't think it's really going to be that big of a deal. But you look on the inside, you can see it was cracked well, and repaired. Well, here's the thing. Savers had it taped down. It had it taped down good. Yeah, you couldn't see it. So, but, I'm not going to pull everything off. Yeah. But, who's going to really use this? I mean, you're going to just yeah, play it's it. it's just going to be a decoration. And you're not really you can gonna... see those cracks from the outside. No, from the outside, it doesn't show at all. They, yeah. did a, they did a good job of putting it back together. But Is that what they did? They actually put it back, or was it just a... No, oh. it's it's cracked all the way wow. through. If you look really, really close, you yeah. can see the cracks. They actually did put it back together. It'd be pretty. Like, I don't know how many people have the cabinets with the shelves up. Not we do. shelves. Yeah, we do. With the cabinets that have a good open shelving. Open shelving to the ceiling. This would be beautiful on that. Yeah. Yeah. We're just sitting in a china cabinet, you know? That too. Yeah. So but yeah. it's not it's not shiny it's not shiny but it's not Darnie. shiny but that's okay because it's actually older than shiny yeah this is very very i like this one. elegant yeah i mean elegant glass maybe but it's mid-century it is mid-century mid i'm yeah. afraid i'm gonna knock it off of there but it's a obviously a creamer and a sugar and it comes with a little mm -hmm. yeah. and i think this is a napkin Very. holder uh -huh. Put some napkins down some in, napkins there. in there. Yeah. And I think that's an open sugar because everything that I researched, there was no lids for that. So it's an open sugar. It doesn't have a place for a lid to sit into it. Yeah, it really doesn't. It doesn't it's have a lip. So, yeah. And it's it's etched. It's etched with like, I don't know, leaves, grapes. It's got a grape, grape leaves and grapes. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Is it etched? Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel, it's like it's raised, not engraved. Oh yeah, you're right, it's raised. You can scratch it. it almost like it's yeah. got a sugar on it. What do you call it? Anyway, that's what it feels like. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Really, yeah. really it's, cool. it's very nice, it's very nice. It would go well with those coasters that we have like that. And like, I, and like I said, you know, put napkins right in there, put it on the table, cream and sugar, Perfect. Nice. <laughs> we have a top hat huh? ice mm -hmm. bucket. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. I thought it was really neat, but then Jerry told me, eh, it's kind of a bomb. It's not really, really worth a whole it's lot. It's kind of new. I thought, well, you know what? We'll just use it when we have a party or something, you know? Put some Either ice that or it. I'll put it on eBay. 
for less than they sell new. People are still, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond still sells them. Look at that. Who knew? Who knew? But I'll sell mine cheaper. And it's it's in good condition. It's uh, the ex the outside of it is, is mm -hmm. a vinyl. -like. It's a vinyl. And, it's uh, so mid-century looking with this knob and the gold. I, yeah. I really, it really faked me out. But I don't care because I like it. And I'll use it. I'll use it if it if I, if it doesn't sell. I'll use it. And we might end up using it anyway because it's kind of large and heavy. It is. Yeah. It is kind of large. But that's okay. It would I'm ship okay easily that. enough though in a twelve by twelve yeah. by twelve. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah. All of the six hundred and something items. You know what? I did my store. homework on this, and now I already forgot. It must huh. be the wine. Volga, Volga. Volga basket. This Volga is, basket. This is a nice basket. Yeah. Look how nice. Look how mm -hmm. tight it's woven. In the, I usually don't buy baskets unless they're Longaberger or Henley or. Yeah, we didn't find yeah. any. She passed by some Longaberger's uh, the other day and I made her me, go back and get them, but they were gone. She told me, Oh, I saw some Longaberger's. I said, Well, where are they? I didn't buy them. Well, I didn't like them. And you know, I don't buy anything if I don't like it. Yeah, well. It's because if I'm going to get stuck with it, I want to I wanna like it. I want to love it. So and anyway. you never know. So that's that's my theory. If I'm gonna have it and it's not gonna sell, you know, with this leather, I, I want to love it. With this leather, that's that's leather on the it's handle. Leather by on the, the way. handle. Leather yeah. handle. And mm -hmm. This might be it. Do you think it might be Native American? No, it's the, uh, it's called a Volga basket. I think that it's um, Indonesian. I'm gonna say Indonesia. Volga Indians. The Volga Indian tribe. Because once again, I didn't do my. Homework. Mm. I did my research and it's all written down, but it's gone from here once it's written down. Yeah, it stinks to get old, right? It's just horrible to get vintage. Yes, we're, been, <laughs> we're not old, we're vintage. We're, vintage. we're not antiques yet, we're just not vintage. Yet. Not yet. So, anyway, <clears throat> yeah. I think that's it, right? That, uh, was that is it. That's everything. Yeah. So that was kind of our fun savers and our little honey hole um, haul. Anyway, uh, Cheers, please subscribe. We will, we appreciate it very like, much. Like, give would. us a thumbs up. Like it, share please. it, tell everybody about it. Uh, all of our website information, all of our down store below. information will be down below here. Uh, Vinny's Vault at gmail.com is our email address. <laughs> Uh, Vinny.etsy.com is our store. Uh, Vinny, Vinny underscore, underscore 42, 42 for eBay. I think it's Vinny's. Vinny's? I think it's I Vinny. Know. I don't think it's Vinny. You know, we should know this. We Shouldn't should know we? This. we should know this. But we really just started going to eBay recently, like within the it's last true. three months or so. It's we, true. We tried eBay once before. We didn't really like it. Didn't it? And now I've months. done it and I'm kind of liking it. Yeah. So I might. But yeah, our sales sad. are still about three to one Etsy. More Etsy, we, but we've been on Etsy, Etsy for years. But we've been on Etsy for years, yeah. So it's, you know. Yeah. So anyway, like I said, subscribe, oh, like, share. Look at my wine. Look oh. at his wine. Yeah. He talks more than I do. Yeah, I do. I, I, I do tend <laughs> to talk more than she does. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.